Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hopper Oaksers. Well, once again, I'm back at the acre section of Vintage Oaks. And the reason I'm out here is because the lot behind me that is my listing, well, is still available. We have dropped the price a little bit. Uh, better get in line with what the market is doing. But I uh, want to do another video tour of this lot. So, yeah, let's go check it out. This lot does have some beautiful trees on it. It is on the natural gas side of the community. You can see off in the distance, there's some beautiful views here. And on the back part of this property, uh, if we got rid of some of this uh, underbrush, you would also have some beautiful views as well. And uh, there is a gorgeous home being built by KC right down the road. We are off of Salt Lick uh, Road, off curvature. If you're trying to find this property, well, my sign is still in front of it, but there's a fire hydrant right there. And if you see the road going to the right, well, you've gone too far, just kind of turn back around and keep looking for my sign. Uh, I have come through and kind of cleared out some of like these small cedars that are popping up. That was kind of making this harder to see the potential for this lot. I still got more work to do. Um, I just kind of come out here when it's not too hot. And when I got a little bit of free time, I'll come out there and do that. Because we definitely need to get this lot sold. But just clearing out some of this, you can definitely see just how gorgeous these oak trees are. And that'd be a real pretty tree to have in your front yard. And I want people to be able to kind of have a path to be able to get to the inner part of this lot. Because I think that's where... The money maker spot is is being able to have your house on this lot and then a view in the back all right we're probably right at the ah, trying to get my bearing straight the closest building spot is probably gonna be right where we're at right now so yeah this would definitely be in your front yard and then this base right back here is probably your ideal build spot. And you can see it does have a slope from the front to the back, but it's not that dramatic. You won't, you will have no steps in the front, but you are going to have some steps in the backyard. But uh, yeah, some beautiful other trees here. And uh, yeah, let's go wander back up this way. This beautiful tree you see beside and right in front of me would be on the edge of the lot. So it's definitely going to be staying there. Okay, we're coming up to the property line right here. I started off in the middle, so this lot's a lot bigger than what I'm showing you. And we're having a gradual slope going down. And then another flat spot, which I think this section here would be an ideal location for the backyard. Um, I still want to come in and clear out some of this so you can actually get back there and see just how flat this space is for your backyard. Oops. And then you have some nice natural barrier or this little rock ridge could be like the edge of your backyard if you want to put a little wrought iron fence you could and then you have this nice flat space for your backyard and then it'll gradually start dropping down into what i call the keep it natural section um with this being a one acre lot you don't want to try to maintain the whole one acre but uh yeah keeping that natural especially as it starts going down into the valley uh this area here being your backyard is real easy to maintain you would have this big beautiful oak tree in your backyard and you can tell this is a flat spot so you don't have to bring in a whole bunch of dirt to make your backyard level you just got to clear out some of this underbrush so you can actually see it better but yeah this would be a really nice backyard have your wrought iron fence along this natural ridge line here. And then, uh, depends on how many of these cedars 
there's quite a few of them some gorgeous oaks but the cedars are blocking a lot of the view but clearing some of those out would open up a beautiful view back this way so let me just work my way out All right, let me get to the property line again because that's the the developers have cut a nice little spot in the property line, so allowing you to walk all the way down. But as you walk down, it's not falling off a cliff, but there is a nice the slope does pick up once you get outside the natural build area for your house, which is okay because you're probably not going to be doing a whole lot with this space anyways unless you want to build do a little i don't know it's tough to use this space once it's sloped at this angle but this is the back part where you want to keep natural but it definitely gives you a lot of privacy is what it does all right this goes down you can see the creek down there the orange flag i don't know if you can see that that marks the edge of the property line so you could come down play in the dry creek bed this is a limestone area so you don't see a lot of standing water out here so you're not going to have a huge problem with mosquitoes um just because you don't have a lot of standing water the ground is fairly porous but uh, i do like this build site I, i'm kind of surprised it's still available but as our market has shifted to where there was nothing available and now there's quite a bit available so uh, make sure you run your comps you'll find this lot is very very competitive price wise to the other lots that are on the market right now and uh yeah definitely come out here take a look at this lot if you need a guide to kind of show you around i'll be happy to or get with your realtor um people are starting to come in with cash right now and that's really ideal especially if you're buying a lot those lot loans can actually be a little more expensive than buying a conventional property loan so if you're looking for a place to uh buy, build your dream house and you've got some cash it's not a bad site so i encourage people to come check it out all right that's going to do it for this one acre lot tour that is a listing of mine if you got any questions at all feel free to reach out to me uh i'll be happy to help and if you like this video feel free to hit that like button of course i want you to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye oh i'm gonna put the address in the description box make sure you check it out all right take care now bye